Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, The Daily Trader. It is July 8th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. I do these videos so that you can do your own research, make your own decisions, learning to do technical analysis with me. So uh, Tesla uh, had the up day today. We closed up uh, $8.71, $8.71 up 1.35 percent at 653.36 post market we seem to be up four cents so uh let's look at uh, what it what this looks like on the chart so basically um yesterday we had the broke down from the support here this big support that was a resistance for so long ago the stock was was staying above well, under that price and it stayed above that price for well since uh, June 24th and yesterday boom it went down it went down below that uh, number that uh, support so what we said yesterday we said well the stock is most likely going to go back on support and then will maybe come back up again and uh, basically this is exactly what it did but uh, it did it in one day so so today the stock went down to the support at around 620 uh, what is the low of the day the low of the day is 620 but the support was maybe at 62450 uh, so the stock went straight down to the support and then straight back up again so uh, look at this we closed and uh people that don't trust the lines well trust the lines look at this this line is to be trusted and this line is to be trusted because the stock just stopped at those lines i did not make this up look at my previous videos those lines had been there for a while and the stock is just obeying those lines no i'm just i'm just renting a bit because some people in the comments are find it funny oh lines you do lines yeah yes yes I do lines um, okay anyway um, so basically we are back up to the resistance and uh, you know uh, if we look at it from the daily chart we have not really crossed out of it so all bets are on so tomorrow we might be playing in this region here so above support below resistance in that little corner of a triangle is the play area of the stock if we close higher than this resistance then then it means that the resistance is no longer valid and the stock is free to roam further up and remember let me do my magic pen so we we definitely are in a channel this is the upper part of the channel this is the lower part of the channel this is where the stock is and we've been bouncing back and forth sometimes we don't reach that the line exactly before going back to the first line look at this we went like this we went down and then we didn't know what we wanted to do and then boom we went to see the other line and now we are just proud to be at this level and then we just get the weakness and we go down to the support so basically we are in this channel here channel channel and the stock is going to go back and forth between the two boom 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 will it cross tomorrow this um this resistance no one really knows but it's really it's really a good possibility yeah it's really a good possibility it's also a possibility that it does not so you know it could do something like this eventually or it can stay a while in here before deciding okay i'm gonna cross this resistance and then i'm gonna resume doing my thing but basically the good thing about this uh, nice green candle is that uh, the stock is pretty strong basically this is what it means so um you know this is a big bounce from the support here 
Uh, here we had also a big bounce in the form of a gap. So there's a gap here between this candle and this candle. And when there's a gap between two candles, it means that the stock is just it's just strong. And yes, it was strong. And what happened is that we went uh, quite high, you know, from uh, from. Uh, Okay, I don't have my numbers here, but maybe from 580 to 623. So it's not bad. And then blah. And, and here we have this, uh, this strong candle too. So it's entirely possible that tomorrow we uh, resume from here. Uh, I would almost wait for uh, the crossing of 657. So 657 here is the top of this candle. And um, I would feel more comfortable if the stock breaks this resistance here. I would be more comfortable if it also breaks 657 because that's the top of this candle here. So, so if that if it does not break that, then uh, the possibilities are that you know it's just going to break the break the resistance, not break 657, and then go back down one more time until well before it really goes for good and what is making me say that is uh the stochastic is pretty low the stochastic is pretty low but let me go to the one hour chart before uh, i talk about the stochastic so uh sorry the hourly chart so in terms of the hourly chart uh this is what uh, this looks like so yesterday yesterday uh, and tell me in the comments if you like when I use my uh, magic pen here I feel it might be easier for you guys to see what I'm talking about if I have some uh, visuals so tell me if you like it so basically yesterday we were pretty much even Steven after this big drop we had a big drop during the first hour of the day boom went down and then we stayed uh, still today we opened we opened exactly at this level the open is at the bottom of the green candle and at the top of the red candle so we opened here went down even went down here so some people might have thought oh boy we are going down but no tesla has this way of reversing and uh, we ended up the first hour with a nice green candle let me just put the green pen nice green candle here and then uh, we paused a little bit then went further up further up a couple of hours of pause so we did not know what the stock was going to do and now what it did it closed from the one hour chart so it is a bit more precise we see a little bit more what is happening so from the one hour chart we see that the stock crossed broke out of the resistance okay this is very nice and um, I drew a different um, resistance here um, than, th than the one I have on the daily chart so this one is at 654 and I drew it instead there instead of 657 like I did on the daily chart just because um, you know because the daily chart is giving us more information and I drew it on top of this uh, nice green candle that we had um, not too long ago around uh, June 23rd and uh, so 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 from an hourly perspective I think that the uh, resistance is more 6, 654 and from a daily perspective it's 657 so um, so quite a strong day so we went and basically touched the support as I mentioned we started from support and then boom went uh, went back up went back up quite strongly if we look at the uh, stochastic the stochastic is uh, uh, it says 42 but it depends on where I put my mouse yes so stochastic is at 51 so basically we broke the 50 that we kind of like to break so um, so from an hourly perspective uh, it's possible that the stock uh, goes up a little bit higher from a, a DMI perspective the DMI is pretty much red the DMI is not easily fooled by uh, steep moves you know if 
if there's a steep move and we think oh the stock is so strong that the MI is hard to convince it because if you look at the difference here between the um, how, how come this is not working if you look at come on I'm gonna just reset it if you look at the difference between uh, between the red line and the green line the diff the uh, distance is uh, is quite big so uh, so this is making me doubt that uh, the stock will just go back up super nicely it's possible it's possible from a dmi perspective mm, i don't see it but from a from a macd perspective the macd says yeah yeah uh, yeah this was enough of a move to uh to uh, cross this over here so uh from a macd perspective the bull trend has just restarted from an hourly perspective and it basically uh ended if you look at it it ended basically june 25th from the uh from the hourly perspective so from june 25th that the, the uh, macd said well yeah everything is going down and in fact, yes, it did. It went down, 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 down. And now there is a crossover here. So uh, reading all those conflicting indicators, um, I'm thinking that uh, yeah, it's in the, it is it is possible that uh, Tesla uh, can go back up. Let me go back to the daily chart. What is what is hard to call is that there are so many things getting tied into a single corner. So as I mentioned, there's this uh, support here that we have a, a quite important support, a super important resistance here. So support and resistance and everything is getting squished into one thing. Let's look at the um, let's look at the uh, indicators from the daily chart. So stochastic is at uh, 55 right here. 55 so uh i think i made a mistake uh no did i make a mistake yesterday no i think yesterday we had the stochastic at 48 so this is why i put the green thumb so i'm gonna put back the green thumb well sorry the the, the uh, yellow the uh red thumb so now i'm gonna put the green thumb let me just change its color here I'm gonna change its color to green because it's over 50. So this is how we do it here. We like uh, the stochastic over 50. In terms of the MACD, has the MACD crossed back? No, the MACD has not crossed back. So the blue line is at 11.43. The orange line is at 11.35. So we have not yet crossed back and the two lines are positive. Hence our two green thumbs up. And the DMI, DMI is still positive, but uh, the DMI is very, uh, how can I say that? It would not take much for the DMI to cross back uh, bearish. So if we have another day uh, under this uh, resistance here, then the DMI would uh, cross over. But until Tesla, well, if Tesla respects the support, then we are still in this channel and um and we can just ride this channel out yes so that's it for me that's it for me so thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing i publish a tesla and palantir video every weekday and also a recap video of these two stocks on the weekend we have a patreon account we have a discord server we have a uh, TradingView affiliate links link. And also uh, new for today, you can become a member through YouTube of this channel. And when you do, when you do become a member, you receive a little icon that will change color uh, to indicate how long you have been members. So if you want to be part of the first members of this channel, you can just do so today just click join and then pay the little fee the uh, little monthly fee and then you will reserve your place for this icon and you will be identified as one of the pioneers of the daily trader this is this is great honor this is a great honor and you will get preferential treatment 
from myself when you make comments. So if you are a member, I will look at your comments and answer when it makes sense. But if you don't subscribe or join, then I will look at your comments and I'll just read them in diagonal and just maybe skip over them. Okay, I'm joking a little bit, but uh, you know what I mean. So uh, basically, I wish you a great uh, evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.